so I will explain why um, you're having problems here. Uh, there's a EnviroVent uh, PIV system. Uh, not a huge fan of them, but uh, this one is blowing air in. Problem is, it's blowing air in to where the clothes are being dried next to the radiator. Uh, bathroom extractor fan is running. Oh, then. Uh, six, six point one liters a second. It should be fifteen, uh, and it runs for about fifteen minutes. So we'll see if we can change that. But there's quite a lot of mold in here, as you can see. Uh, this is in now in the kitchen. The um, uh, kitchen extractor fan works well. I've tested it, and it runs at about. Uh, 60 litres a second so that's that's good uh, we've got some issues with uh, I think it's mould up there that the uh, tenant was concerned about oh it certainly looks like it um, so the, the sofa was pushed up against the wall here and you're getting mould and that's in part because of the lack of airflow so we're going to ask the tenant to keep that away there's a lot of uh, there's dampness here, heat loss, and I think in part that's because the neighbour is keeping their property a lot colder, which is fine. You can actually see the condensation dribble marks underneath the, or just above the radiator. Uh, lots of condensation on the windows. thing you should um, appreciate is that uh, the, the locks are, are wet from condensation. Um, so that obviously is a sign that uh, there's way too much humidity in the property. On the outside, there's no specific concerns around here. Uh, so th this is the kitchen extractor fan that goes out there, which is fine. I start to test the walls with a damp meter. You have to ignore the sound. They make a lot of sound on the machines. 999 is what we're looking for, which is really damp. Anything below 300 is, is dry, but there were some damp patches around yeah, the... You can see uh, the condensation dribble marks yeah, yeah. here. The from dribble a, marks from an angle. It's and the, the rust. Neighbors, it's vacant. So we've got uh, this thing, which is which is good, but um, it's obviously not removing sufficient water. There's lots of uh, these are single glazed windows that actually act as dehumidifiers. Um, here we have an example of where condensation dribbles down here, f flows onto the wall, creating this brown mark like a leak, but it's actually coming from condensation. Similarly, down here and over in the corner here um, quite distinctively condensation although obviously at the base of the wall and you've got mold all the way up here uh, and in the corner down here and apparently it sounded like there was rainwater dripping down but I, I think that's probably condensation these passive vents um, tend to be fairly useless because they cause heat loss um, and therefore increase the risk of uh, mold and condensation. So here we've got um, one of these PIV units which is which is running but unfortunately what's happening is that it's um, blowing air onto the drying clothes which are then pushing vapour into the cold wall so uh, counterproductive I'd say. Uh, so the property has a few challenges firstly it's been damp proofed if you look at the 
the bullet marks at the bottom of the wall. That's the case of damp proofing. One of the drawbacks of damp proofing is that the internal absorbent plaster is replaced with slurry, which is impermeable and stops the water being absorbed, thereby increasing the risk of condensation and mould. Have a look at some of my other surveys and you'll see some of the damage that they cause. You also have an issue of a potential drip, uh, where leaving the algal growth on the, or moss growth on the outside, uh, but I think that was fixed. It's had air vent put in, but unfortunately it's against a cupboard, so you're going to get a loss of heat. Uh, you've got natural challenges because of the heat loss. You can see in the thermal image where it's blue, it's cold, and where it's red, it's warm, relatively. This is the cold back wall where the mould is growing. Now, the relative humidity was at 83%, which is 85%, and mould starts growing. Also, the vent was running slowly. Uh, I managed to improve the extraction speed just by cleaning it out. Uh, and I also extended the timer to 30 minutes and asked the tenants to close the door. Uh, I sit down with the tenants a bit later on at the end of the survey you'll see and go through all the things that I believe that they should do. This last thermal image is off the cold back wall behind the sofa where it's damp. We're going to see if we can solve this, um, the, the key issues, the bathroom extractor fan and keeping the bathroom door uh, open, which the tenants were advised to do. So, and we've got a data logger there. The idea is to bring the data of the dew point down on the data logger to temperature of the outside. So at the moment the data log is showing about 12 and we want to bring it down to the, about 10 degrees centigrade outside by targeted ventilation and using dehumidifier. Well it's, it's better. It's better. The primary issues are uh, the clothes drying internally uh, with the next to the radiator so keep sofa away from the, the, the wall. Um, dry your clothes in, in here with the dehumidifier whenever you're drying clothes. Sure. When you're not drying clothes, use the dehumidifier in the bedroom. Okay. Uh, keep the bathroom door closed yep. and make sure the fan lasts for at least half an hour. Okay. And if it's humid in there, just keep it running by um, keeping the light on. Sure. Uh, use the kitchen extractor fan. Yep whenever cooking yeah. uh, and try to cook with tops on pots and pans yeah. and with a flame down it's still 100 degrees centigrade it's sure. boiling as quickly yeah, as it yeah, would yeah. do if it's furious but okay. it, you'll reduce uh, and um, in terms of heating what do you do do you have like an on off system or a thermostat yeah control? so we've got like a automatic program but usually we'll if we're back in together um, if we've been out of the office we'll just come in and stick it on manual so just Heats up so what I would room. do is, have you got a thermostat? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, okay, okay. So what I do is, is um, never let it go down below uh, either 14 if you're in the centre yeah. of the room or 12 if you're okay. near a cold wall. It doesn't. That much is a good thing. It doesn't so, go that. Um, we before we when we go to bed, we'll switch off the heating. Yeah. And then the coldest it's been has been something like fourteen point five or fifteen in the morning, okay. and that's in here. That's cent central. Yeah. So don't let it go sure. below that. Okay, okay, fine. So in summary, the damp issues are primarily vapor and condensation caused by excess vapor not being extracted properly. The PIV is blowing air from the drying clothes onto the cold wall in the living room. Uh, the property has been damp proof. Damp proofers impermeable plaster reduces the absorption, the natural buffering of vapour in walls. The other thing is the tenants are working from home predominantly from what I could tell. Uh, this increases the amount of uh, respiration. Uh, all in all, they must increase use of the provided ventilation uh, and use a dehumidifier whenever drying clothes internally. I think you have very good, responsive, 
tenants that very much listened to what I was recommending, as you could tell, uh, but perhaps they need extra guidance. That is why I recommend you look at the previous video where we go into a lot of detail about the dew points on the graph. I'm yet to receive the data logger data back from the tenants, but I ask them to send it at the end of the year, beginning of next year. Uh, I can then add it to the report. The important thing is to bring the dew point down internally by using ventilation, bathroom, kitchen in particular, and dew humidifier whenever drying clothes internally and whenever the humidity is high, for instance, when working from home. Blowing air in from the outside through a PIV will merely bring the humidity from the outside in. It isn't necessarily getting rid of any moisture, especially when it's raining. Using a dehumidifier is the only way of dropping the internal dew point below that of the outside dew point. 